welcome back to Edgy ETV. We're excited to be here with you. We're going to start off with a little quiz to test your knowledge about the Edgy E application packet. Advisor, please pause the video now and record your advisory answers in the Google form. Okay. Hi, I'm Jada Williams. Let's review. Question one, true or false? The cover page of the application is the application worksheet. This sheet tells you when the application is due, the application website, and what is needed to complete the application. A true, B false. The correct answer is A true. The application worksheet tells you everything you need to do to complete your application. Let's move on to question two. All the following are parts of the application packet that help me figure out when things are due except A the calendar, B the application instruction, C the application worksheet, D the information about the program. The correct answer for this one is D. Within every information packet, there is an application worksheet and application instructions and possibly a calendar to help you figure out when each piece of your application is due. The program information simply tells you what the program is like. True or false? Part of this application packet can help you brainstorm your short answer responses. A. True. B. False. The correct answer here is true. There's an essay brainstorm sheet. Let's move on to question three. Question three. The person who would write my counselor recommendation is A, my advisor, B, Ms. Raglan, C, Ms. Robinson, D, Ms. McCain. The correct answer is D, Ms. McCain. For the purpose of EGE, she is a counselor that would write your counselor recommendation. Okay, last question. Where do you turn in all complete application pieces, including paper applications? A, your locker, B, your advisor, C, the SGE being in the cast office, or D, your friend? The correct answer is C. Make sure to turn in all paperwork with your name on it to the SGE being in the cast office, which is found on the second floor of the main building. At the last week episode, we got a lot of really great SGE questions from students. We wanted to give students the opportunity to ask those questions now <laughs> so that we could answer them. In my application packet, there is a paper application, but I need to complete the actual application online. Should I write out the application before I start the online application? That's a great question. Remember, Jada and I are here to give you all the best insider tips of finding and actually being accepted to the best HEEs. We will advise you to write a draft of your application before typing it up. That's right. Not all applications will allow you to save your work as you go. So it is best to do a written draft of your application before you start typing it. That way your advisor or Ms. McCain can look over it and proofread it before you type up the final version. Let's move on to another student. These applications are long and complicated. I don't mean to be rude, but sometimes I feel so overwhelmed, I don't even know where to start. That's a very understandable concern. Applying to HGE is a lot of work, and so the, pr the process can be very confusing. Always keep in mind that applying for HGEs is very similar to apply to post-secondary pathways and jobs. By working through the HGE process, you are making sure that you are developing the skills you would need in college and your career. Exactly. That being said, Darren and I recommend that all students working on the HGE application start with the short answer essay. I know y'all don't want to hear that, but it's true. The essay or short answer is going to take the longest, and it is the part that you are going to need the most feedback on. Please start on the essay question first. Also, please don't avoid applying for an SGE just because it has an essay requirement. I'm an 11th grader and I really want to ask my old teacher for a recommendation to the SGE I'm applying to, but it doesn't work here anymore. What do I do? Lucky for you, there are a lot of other teachers at Sober that can write your recommendation. If the teacher you want to write write your recommendation no longer works here, you can ask a different teacher, including any that you have this year. Let's move on to another question from a student. I really want to apply to a certain SGE, but there is a $50 fee for the program. I don't want to ask my family to pay $50 for an SGE. I am also worried that I may not have transportation to and from the SGE. What should I do? That's a great concern. You are applying to SGEs in February, and these programs don't start until June. Money and transportation are hard to figure out that far in advance. Jaden and I recommend that students apply to all programs that interest them. Once you have been accepted to the program, your advisor and Ms. McCain will work with you to make sure that there are no financial or transportation barriers to, attend, to, to attending HEE. Exactly. 
We will talk about this in later episodes too, but never hesitate to reach out to your advisor or Mrs. McCain about these issues. They will help you figure it out. I already have an SEE for this summer, but there are a lot of other programs I'm interested in. Can I apply to more SEEs? Are you kidding? Of course, you can and should apply to more in one SGE. The more SGEs you participate in, the more interesting summer you have. Participating in many SGEs means that you set yourself apart on college and job application too. We are issuing a challenge to all Salisville students. In the past, some students completed two SGEs in the summer. We want to see if anyone else can also complete two SGEs. On that note, I bet you are all excited to hear what programs have application out now. Advisor, it is almost time to listen to the commercial for this week. But first, we want to thank all of the students for sharing their SGE questions with us. We are glad to be here to help clear up all your SGE concerns, and we are looking forward to the best SGE year yet. Let's recap what we learned so far during SGE Season 2020. 1. Two weeks ago, we reviewed the requirement for SGE to count and receive credit. Two. Today, we will review the instruction of each SGE application packet. Next week, we will start using our SGE calendar agenda. Don't worry about that. Remember, you can always find extra copies of SGE application packets on the second floor of the main building, the SGE table in the lobby. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching! watching.